Mike, they acknowledge they can't come out of a game if you're just having four targets. But they got to do a better job. I mean, it's got to be frustrating because you know the plays you've made. Right? Mm -hmm. um, they try to move you around. Do you feel like you're, you're continue to be a bigger part? Do you talk to Byron about it? No, I just, when the ball comes my way, it's my job to make the play. I mean, I don't, I obviously want the ball as much as possible, but if it doesn't come my way, I mean, I can't control that. So I just run my routes super hard. Uh, I feel like I've been running them pretty good this year. So I just look forward to, you know, getting the ball this weekend. How would you describe the team's attitude this week coming off that loss? Well, we're optimistic. I mean, we're still, well, are we tied first in division or something like that? Um, we're still optimistic. I mean, you can't stop playing. We're all professionals. Um, we got a division game this week coming up. We got to win it. It's a, it's a must win for us. What do you think is slowing the offense down? We see penalties. Just teams beating us. Teams just beating us. I mean, they were more physical. The Steelers were more physical than us uh, last Sunday. We got to be more physical and clean up the penalties. It wasn't like they caught you off guard, though, because you told us you're like, we've seen this before, where, where teams mm -hmm. will struggle the week before, and then they mm -hmm. play their hardest against us. So it's not like you weren't prepared for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were all prepared. For it. They just they just beat us. They did a good job. A lot of too high, made us run the ball, and we're real physical with us. And we didn't we didn't score touchdowns in the red zone until the last drive. What needs to happen to, to get those touchdowns at the red zone? It's got to be better. Why do you see there's an urgency to kind of get the offense clicking this week now? I, it's always urgency to me, in my opinion. It's always urgency, but uh, you know, hopefully we can turn it around soon because we know what we're capable of. This has to be a, kind of a surprise to you. I mean, yeah, obviously, the, the core of this team is back. Um, and to see these. No struggles. Gronk, though. No. no Gronk. Yeah. How much do you guys miss had, him? You've always had some I miss Gronk. You've always had some battles with Carolina. Yeah. What are you looking forward to this week? Should hopefully get in the W. I mean, we need a win bad here. Um, we just got to do everything we can to get this win. You, you mentioned Gronk. How much, what do you miss most about him? Just hanging out with him in the locker room. That was my guy. He, he had a way of lightening the mood, it seemed like. Yeah, he was always. Hard, yeah, he was one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. And there was a reason why he was so great. But uh, you know, I just brought him up just because, you know, his locker used to be right here. And, uh, you have to be encouraged, though. I mean, there's still a lot of talent on this team. Oh, absolutely. You know, we, it's a super long season. Like, we're just trying to stay as healthy as possible and get it right right now before it's too late. What would be your message to your teammates? To I already told them, and I'm going to keep that between us. Yeah, Mike, is that the silver lining in all of this? Kind of like you're still tied for first in division. Yeah, I mean, we just, we're looking at the positives, but um, we don't want to underachieve is what we don't want. So we just got to be better and, and soon. Would underachieve be the best way to describe what you've seen so far? Uh, Sure. <laughs>